30 tonight. It is day two of the government shutdown, and President Obama is not backing down. The president refusing to negotiate changes in the health care law in return for reopening the government. And right now, he's meeting with key congressional leaders. Today, the Republican-run House rejected an effort by Democrats to force a quick end to the shutdown without clamping any restrictions on Obamacare. The closure is affecting the nation's most scenic and beloved places. And back here at home, there was some confusion about whether or not a local museum was open or closed. From the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is in New Bedford now with what he's learned. Well, it's a little confusing, but the New Bedford Whaling National Historic Park is closed because of the shutdown. Basically, that's anywhere where you see the cobblestone in New Bedford. However, the New Bedford Whaling Museum remains open. From big bones to big ships, the New Bedford Whaling Museum is always a great draw for tourists. But Arthur Mata says there's been a lot of confusion since the government shut down. He wants to make sure people know they are open. If they learn that the Whaling National Historical Park is closed, they might bypass us. So we want to make sure that people understand we are open. That clarification is perfect for Bob Klein and his kids. They drove up from Providence to take a look, but were concerned the museum would be closed when they got here. I had my wife get out of the car and she checked the, the front entrance and yeah, you guys were open here. So, uh, so uh, you know, it was a good thing because we had dro drove up all the way from Rhode Island and we didn't want to disappoint the kids or anything. The museum is a privately run nonprofit, so the shutdown doesn't affect them, but it technically lies in the cobblestone streets of the New Bedford Way National Historical Park. The National Park's main building had its door shut, another sign of the government shutdown. They would go after the whales, harpoon them, and the whale would take off for miles. Mata said the shutdown may not have had too big of an effect on the museum yet, but if the shutdown drags on, it might. We would worry about that, that's right. We are checking with, uh, with our group tour operators and the people, uh, the bus tours and bus trips, uh, and uh, to make sure that they are still coming and they know that we are. Uh, we we are open. And it's not just the Whaling Museum. Most of the national parks are actually made up of private businesses, and they still remain open. Reporting with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Tonight, Rhode Island's congressional delegation remains in Washington. Now, earlier today, I spoke with Senator Sheldon Whitehouse via satellite about the effects of the shutdown and raising the debt ceiling. For as long as the United States has existed, through civil wars, through world wars, through great depressions, we have never defaulted on our debt. And I don't think anybody wants the Tea Party to be able to make us do that now when we haven't done it in hundreds of years of proud history. Right now, the stock market hasn't wavered too much from the shutdown. It was up yesterday, down today. But Senator Whitehouse says that, too, will likely worsen the longer the shutdown continues.